Before I begin this video, you should know Tom Arnold fabricated a story on how President Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, and himself were going to team up and take down the president. He later had to retract his actions in a tweet disclosing the fact that it was just all made up in fun. Just listening to the interview and how ridiculous it was makes you wonder just how gullible these anchors are by letting it go on. Let me read you the tweet Tom Arnold has since put out. Michael Cohen didn't say me and him were teaming up to take down Donald Trump. Michael has enough Trump on his plate. I'm the crazy person who said me and Michael were teaming up to take down Trump, of course. I meant it. Michael doesn't get paid by vice. So in other words, the liberal media's biggest news story of the day on how Michael Cohen was going to turn on Donald Trump was totally fake news. Just look at the exuberant expression on Nicole Wallace's face, not knowing Tom Arnold is making complete fool of her on her own show. Here's part of the interview. I hope you will enjoy it. Donald Trump wants that footage too, and I'm not giving it to him either. But, I, but there are ways to get it. Uh, Gloria Allred has a client who's a judge says you have to get it. I think if I'm, my thing is I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to quit until he's out of office because he and his family are just awful grifters, horrible people. And I think if people would have originally seen a day of him on the set, of the boardroom set of The Apprentice mm -hmm. and seen how incompetent he was and without people propping him up and lying for him and covering for him, then they would have been, oh my God, no, he can't be the president. You know, well, he he, even his friends will say the idea that he was this titan of business yeah. and, and that people voted for businessmen is such a scam. He was talent. Right. He was uh, a, a t and, and no right. offense. I mean, you're, right. you're, no, you're no, I agree. No, I agree. Thousand percent. I should be president. Oh my God. But the but the idea that he like ran the successful business and that people thought they were voting for successful businessmen and could transfer those skills to running the government was a scam. Right. Well, people in New York knew he couldn't have been the council, a city councilman in New York. He would have never won, or the mayor, or or uh, representative, or the governor of New York. Or the only thing he could have the won from New York was the president of the United States, because people of New York knew him. So and that's scary. So, so what Mark Burnett sold was this guy on The Apprentice, this fake guy, to uh, Middle America and stuff. And they, people from Iowa, where I'm from, believe he's, oh my God, he's Donald Trump. He's this genius. Now, the thing about him, he said that Barack Obama was a, he, he wasn't born here. He's an illegitimate president. And the problem with him doing it, there's a million problems with him doing that. First of all, I was born in a small uh, Midwestern farm town like Barack Obama. And my grandfather looked just like Barack Obama's grandfather. So I was, when he first started doing it, I'm like, oh my God, if Barack Obama's grandfather was alive, yeah, he'd be like, and that's why it took, it took it so personal, because my grandfather right. had to defend me a lot as a kid, too. And also, the, the irony is, Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. He did not win the election without help from Russia. You will see this. And he knows he's illegitimate. Every time you mention it, he freaks out. And that's karma. He so is that's, a that's, your, that's your theory on why he's so mad. About. I, I want to ask you, though, about what happened yesterday. Let's put this picture up okay. with you with, with Michael Cohen. Yeah. Um, I, I want to ask you to, 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 to get to the answer to these two questions. One, how did this meeting come to be? And two, what commitments did Michael Cohen make, if any, to helping you? There's uh, two things I can tell you. Uh, Michael Cohen and I have, have uh, run into each other six times. Six Michael times. Cohen. That sounds like more than just running into each other. Okay. Uh, I will say that when we started what are you our. You've you planned to see each other six times? I will say that uh, it, it, we are. I will say the first. Our first relationship was it, uh, involved lawyers and involved Trump and the White House and Russia. And I will tell you that. Uh, 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 that I, that's all I can tell you. You will see. And it was I. We were on opposite sides of the of the. Uh, uh, but we were not. We were adversaries. Legally, I mean, yeah. were you? Yeah. Were, I mean, did, were you someone that he paid hush money to? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. There was somebody that uh, he tried to get to hush. That they. Well, I've got a picture of you with Felix Sater. Is this another yeah. link, link in your um, ties to? Well, Trump, yeah, you know, that's interesting. We, we were put together. Yeah. With, um, with a funny and kind friend, Felix Sater. Yeah. Beautiful Long Island home. We shared stories about New York real estate. Our mutual friend visiting our mutual yeah. friend on the set of The Apprentice, Russia, and videotapes. So, so you, you're being too cryptic for me. You, you've watched this show before. Yeah. You can't just dangle out Russia, Michael Cohn, Felix Sater, and tell me you'll tell me later. What, 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 what are your interactions with um, Felix Sater and Michael Cohen in Russia about? Well, I mean, ultimately, it's about getting uh, the information. I mean, 
let's say some of these people are cooperating with the, the Mueller, special, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, yes. so these are and let's say if you follow me on Twitter, you're like, that is a crazy guy, and it's true. <laughs> but when this is over, you go, oh my God. So did Michael Cohen give you any verbal commitment, or give you? Did he hear his wife suggest that? Yeah. Let me just say. Yeah. Let me say. Michael Cohen is a great father, and and you know he worked for this guy Donald Trump. But anybody like myself that's worked for Donald Trump knows he's a he's a fool and he's terrible. So he did his best. He cleaned up a lot of messes, including Kara McDougal, who I knew and her lawyer sued us too, and all these messes. And Michael Cohen's doing his best. He's running, 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 and then he got just hit over his head. And darn it, he 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 went to work and didn't even he his own family. Made him. And now Donald Trump's like, are you about, who's Michael Cohen? What? He's not my lawyer? I don't know that guy. He's a nice guy. You know, he's so full of it. And finally, he realized it. And his wife helped him realize it. He's like, oh my God, well, I got to take care of my family because this guy is the worst. And so he's taking care of his whole family. But does that include flipping? Did he tell you he was going to flip? What do you, what do you mean flipping? Did, did, did he did, cooperate with prosecutors? He's in a lot of trouble. He could yes, be he, did, you, did he say anything that made you think he was going to cooperate with prosecutors? Uh, he's going to do, here's what I uh, here's what I know. He's going to take care of his family, mm -hmm. his country, the, uh, uh, also the rest of us Jews. <laughs> and, uh, Donald Trump is not. He's done. Donald, he knows that Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not care about him. He does not care about his family. And it's over. He does, also doesn't want me, he doesn't want to be harassed by Donald Trump because he is the president of the United States still. And he probably has a bunch of dudes. But the Michael Cohen is going to take care of his family and his country first. That's all you need to know. Think about that. Let, let, let me, I've got two more questions.